Yes. Today, saltfish fritters. This is the recipe of how to make saltfish fritters. So I'm going to do a demo, demonstration of how to make saltfish fritters. So, now by saying that, some people call it saltfish cake, some people call it saltfish fritters. Okay. First, I need my oil. I need my flour. <clears throat> my little bit of spice, my pot. So, for the saltfish flitter, I boil in my saltfish right there. I boil it, soak it, pour the water, soak it, pour the water. Now I have my saltfish in the pot there boiling. And. I have this pot I'm going to fry my flitters in. Over there I have a few little bit of spices to add to it. My oil and my flour is right there. Okay, so let's get going now. Get the ball a roll. Whoop, whoop, whoop. No. No. Okay, saltfish is cooked and it's about to boil over on the stove. I don't want that to happen. Whoa. I don't want it to boil over. Yeah. Saltfish is cooked. Okay. So for you now. Put the pot right here. Pour some oil in the pot. Just a few tiny strips of tomato, just for color. I like my little vegetables. So, if you love the tomato, you can. If you don't love the tomato, you don't have to. That's optional. I don't need more than that, so I put this aside. Okay. I love the flavor of my green onion, so I chopped it and put it inside also. Now I clean up my onion. So I chopped my onion very fine, small piece of onion, very fine chopped. Now my saltfish already boiled and picked and everything. So I take my saltfish, small pieces, I make sure I soak the salt out and wash it properly, then boil it, then get small pieces small junk these are the bone you don't need no bone inside so just get rid of the bones okay so that is that so I have all the salt fish the green onion the onions the tomato is in that bowl I sprinkle a black pepper for taste black pepper yeah. and 
I store that one in. Then it's time to add my flour. Okay. Add my flour for saltfish cake, saltfish flitters. Okay. Based on the amount you want to make. Yeah. So I didn't really do a measurement, I'm just making enough for myself. The more people you're making it for, the more you need, is the more flour you added. Store everything in. Then put the fire under the hole to hot. While the fire is warm enough, you get your water. Oil is hot in. You pour your water and you mix it. Some people use milk. You can also use milk for the mixture, but I prefer to use the water for the mixture. You can also use milk. Okay. Just making my sawfish flippers. I think I need some more water. I'll get more water. Yeah. So as you notice, I didn't put salt inside because I put the salt fish in there. And this is what your butter is supposed to look like. Yeah. All mixed in properly. Everything mixed in properly. Now you have to have your oil hot. The oil not supposed to be too hot, mid flame. If the pot is too hot, it's gonna burn the outside and the inside is not properly done. And if it's not hot enough, it's gonna just suck up the oil and get too oily. So you have to make sure your oil is at the right temperature. Yeah. So now your oil is hot. Yeah, so flitters is there. Yeah, oh, yeah, turning this side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, turn them over. Yeah, nice in them up. Okay. some cabbage
salt fish flitters breakfast so that's my salt fish flitters breakfast thank you please like share and subscribe how to prepare salt fish flitters Okay, time to eat. Thank you. Please like, share, and subscribe.